Welcome back to KJI. I'm CJ Craig, and we're here live at Choctaw Middle School here with Miss O'Neill. Now, Miss O'Neill, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here at Choctaw Middle School? We have tons of things going on here. Uh, we're trying to survive till Thanksgiving break this week, mm -hmm. but we've had several choir students uh, yesterday went and tried out for OCDA Junior High All-State Choir, mm -hmm. and we had four students make that, so that was very impressive. Awesome. It's very hard to do, and so we were very lucky to have four students do that. Um, we have we finished up our basketball games last night for the week and last Friday we had a big volleyball game um, with all the teachers versus students and some of you guys high school football players came to visit and then they got to join in on the football game so that I mean in the volleyball game so that was a lot of fun all right so uh, what can you tell us about the new stadium renovations we've heard it around school but uh, how is it uh, it is beautiful you can see the bright blue from up here in front of the school and uh, we weren't sure when we lost our roof in the storm mm -hmm. uh, then it tore up our field so that's how we ended up getting a new field and uh, we're very proud of it and pleased I know several schools are wanting to borrow it for playoff practice so they'll be glad when it's all finished yes <laughs> that's awesome now we like to ask our guests on this show just one question so our question for you is since Thanksgiving is coming up what are you the most thankful for I think just off the top of my head I'm most thankful for all the wonderful children we have here in our school and um, all the great teachers that care so much about all these kids that's awesome so we just have one last question for you, Miss O'Neill. Um, is there anything you would like to say to the parents or anybody watching at home about Choctaw Middle School? Well, you, I guess I would say that um, we are a wonderful place, a uh, great place to send your kids, and we all are so, we feel very fortunate that we have those kids uh, as a part of our school. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Miss O'Neill. Thank you. Hey, dude. Yeah, dude. Do you ever think about if we're alone in the universe, and what would it mean if we were? What if, what if we were alone? What would that say about us, like about our planet? Would that make us like special at all? I don't know, man. What if we're like? Like just some sort of cosmic accident. Uh, there's no real reason to us being here. We're just, just existing. Would that say anything about us? I, I think that that would say everything. Hey man. You ever just notice how oblivious people are to the world around them? Like a person holding out their phone in a rainstorm? Or how a man will be oblivious to the world around him? It's like ants in a way. They go about their day oblivious to the things around them. They only care about one thing, their, their colony, their normalcy, their routine. So immeasurably small in the world around them, like us in space, a speck in a larger picture next to nothing. Dude. Do I ever feel lonely? Like, do, do I think about this sort of stuff? What if we're in a simulation? So what if we're in a simulation? I mean, what would that really like, change? It would, even if we were, we'd still need to eat, still need to sleep, we'd still die, and 
even if like we weren't in a simulation, I think that just goes to show that life doesn't really matter anyway. Dang. Yeah. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm back. Hey, did you see that uh, script those two people were writing? No, why do you bring it up? Uh, because it's right there. Oh. Wow, this looks like some pseudo-intellectual garbage. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> The story begins, and the first thing we see are two people sitting down in chairs and uh, looking up in the ceiling. Guy 1 slowly looks down at Guy 2 and says, Guy 1, hey dude, Guy 2 look... That's us. The skit is almost over. Oh no.